To ensure we can keep producing great free content, please leave a comment below or leave a question that we can help you with. Then like and subscribe for all the latest updates. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Let's talk about grids and why do you need to use a grid? Grids are very useful for checking the photo's horizon and that they're straight and give you a guide to the rule of thirds. Uh, the rule of thirds we'll, we'll talk about in a minute, but have you ever taken a photo of a building or a landscape to see that the actual horizon isn't level after you've taken it? Yes, you can correct it in post afterwards, but you do lose some of the image from the left and the right. So as always, it's best to get it right in camera first time. And to do that, a grid helps you do that. The rule of thirds, and what's this all about? This was first recorded back in 1797 by John Thomas Smith. Although this was based on paintings and the balance of dark and light, he developed this further with subjects in the paintings. The rule of thirds is dividing your frame into nine equal rectangles using a grid, very similar to the one that you have on your iPhone. The four lines will cross at four points. These are the points where at the point of interest should be. The relationship between the negative space and the subject creates natural focal point. Placing points of interest on one of these points balances your image and creates interest within your photo. So this is what the rule of thirds is all about and we will go into this a little bit more within the composition. To ensure we can keep producing great free content, please leave a comment below or leave a question that we can help you with then like and subscribe for all the latest updates. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.